glad you all could come for our regular Saturday meeting. Uh, it is an honor that you all come. Uh, it's an honor, uh, it's a way of honoring the Lord. Uh, you know, the word honor in the dictionary says to give importance to. So we give, uh, we're giving importance to our spiritual life, uh, and, we're, uh, and the Lord is present. We invite him into our midst. He is present, and he is simply invisible. That doesn't mean he's not here. When we talk to somebody on a telephone, we don't see them, and yet we know that they're, that, that, that they're uh, able to communicate uh, with us. And, and we can feel and know that we're with that person even though the, uh, they are not visible. So we invite the Lord to be here. He is here. He promised to be here. And he appreciates that people are giving him importance. So it is part of a worship experience to give the Lord his importance. <coughs> it would seem the best relationships are where there is agreement about which way the deference flows between the individuals. When there is agreement, the relationship works well. When there is ambiguity as to uh, who defers to who, uh, then, then we have uh, more of an uns unsaid uh, tension. So we can carry that a little further. We can, uh, you know, when we Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Huh? Enter his courts with praise. All right. So the first thing is, is for, for the person to whom we're coming in contact to say, gee, thanks, buddy. Uh, not buddy. Uh, gee, thanks, pal. No, thanks, thanks friend, uh, for, for doing this and for doing that. It, it's appreciated. Well, that's, a, that's something that's said between friends. And, 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 and that's, that's, a, that's a good way to, when you greet somebody, to, to uh, express to them. And then, and then besides the thanksgiving, to now uh, praise them and say, you know, I know, I know you did this, and I know you're going to do that, and you are somebody. You are really something. And so when we do that, we are admiring. And so there's a gradual process of increased deference towards the captain of our faith, Yeshua, known to the Gentiles as Jesus. Now, that actually, when we lose ourselves in that, then we have gotten out of ourselves. And after a while, we don't mind doing that, and we, and we instinctively know it's good for us to take our proper place between somebody who is obviously, 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 our moral uh, leader and leader. And we get out of ourselves. It's the self-concern, the self-promotion, the concern over how well I'm doing, et cetera, that really uh, is an antithesis of this deference that uh, elevates us, elevates us. So we gather together here as Jews and Gentiles. Huh, why has it taken 2,000 years for dedicated people, sincere people, to finally, finally get it right that God wants Jews and Gentiles working together, working together for his goals? And if, we, and if we believe the same thing, we are welded together. By working together on common goals, that's where friendships come from. Huh? And so we become part of the warp and woof of a congregation, of a community. We get involved in one another's lives. And you know, that's so much more rewarding than just popping in now and again so that, you know, I haven't forsaken the assembled. I was there a month and a half ago. You know, it doesn't quite get you to the same spiritual place as really commitment, because love is the fruit of commitment. So, with that... In